Hi, and welcome to my drawing studio. My name is Kasper Kripke, and I'm a Danish pencil artist, and I love to draw. So therefore, all my artworks are created with only graphite pencils and color pencils, and they all look like photographs. So for me to be able to make all these highly detailed artworks, I need the very best light that I can get. So I want to take you a tour around my drawing studio to show you how I use the light on my different artworks so that I can be able to make all these very highly detailed artworks. So let's have a tour around. Come with me. When I do my artworks, I often do a lot of research before I start on drawing them. And this is actually the table where I sort it all out, uh, what to draw. And for that, I of course need some good light. And this is the Luminos uh, from Daylight, which has three different levels of brightness, as you can see here. And this is very bright. And the good thing about this is that I not only use it for research and, and to see that, I also use it when I draw because uh, I can have it on top of my uh, light box, which I can get light from below as well here, and I can get light from the top, and also I can flip it here and do like this. And when I draw, I cannot shadow uh, myself, so therefore I need light from the side. So when I sit here and draw, I get light directly from this side, and also, my drawing table is actually right over here. So I can flip it here, flip it this way, and I get light from the side on my uh, drawing table right there. And that works. And it doesn't matter if it's night or daytime, I get the perfect light every time. So now I'm, I'm ready to draw. I have my luminous, which is on um, the highest brightness, as you might can see in my face. And I have my light box. This is the Wavero light box uh, 2, which is a free size. And finally, I have my slim line here, which has four different levels of brightness, as you can see. And I put it up here on the highest brightness. And the good thing about this is also that I can take it a bit down and I can turn it here as well so that I will get light directly from the top here, going straight down there. I will get it from the luminous from the side. I'll get it from the light box here, and I will never shadow myself. And it doesn't matter if it's nighttime or if it's daytime, I can draw all the time. I draw very large scale artworks and I can draw directly on walls or I can do it on big canvases. Just as this one where I put it up on my easel. And there I need the light to come from above. And here the daylight technique on this lamp is very good because it has three different levels of brightness. As you see here, this is the most bright, which is very important for me because when I draw, I draw very dark and I draw very light and all in between. So I need to be able to shift the light depending on whether it's an area where I draw dark or light or in between, as I said. And another good feature of this Techni Artist Lamp is that I can turn this one here. I can turn it so it points directly at the spot where I'm drawing. A very good thing about this Techni Artist Lamp uh, is that I can mount it with a easel clamp, as you can see here. I can also very easily take it out here. And I have also a table mount that I can mount it into. When I need to sit and draw here in the corner, for example, it's very good that I can take my Techni Artist lamp and place it here on this table clamp instead of my easel clamp, because then I have the light down here instead, and I can place it so it fits as I would like. There's also this antique lay here, 
that makes sure that I uh, that, that I don't get the light in my eyes. I can just take my pencil and I can have the perfect light and start drawing on this cute little thing. When I draw on my smaller artworks, I always use the waiver light box from Daylight because it is so important for me that I can control the light on my drawing no matter if it's nighttime or if it's daytime. So it's important for me to be able to have the same light on my drawings. And the light box, which comes in three different sizes, and this is the biggest one, which is the, the waiver three, which is an A2 size. And the good thing about this is that it's so thin that it doesn't feel like a box. It just feels like a table. So if I sit here and draw, it, this doesn't bother me at all because it's so thin. And the good thing is that the light box has the light from what I would call from zero to 100 and it fades all the way up and all the way down. As you see here, just hold the button and it goes all the way up and I can just release and press again and it goes all the way down and I can just stop if I want to and press again, it goes up, stop, press again, it goes down. And that is so important because then I can control how the light is precisely on the specific area that I'm drawing on. And I draw uh, very dark areas and I draw very light areas. And therefore it is important for me that I can see the difference. And the light from the waiver light box does that for me. And it doesn't matter if it's nighttime or if it's daytime, I can draw all the time. So now I will take my pencil and I will draw. Take care.